She was not the most accomplished actress in the world, but she became a box office favorite, and she was unique. In the days when people like uh, Clara Bow and Nancy Carroll and Janet Gaynor had little Cupid's bow mouths, and those were the things, Joan had a generous mouth, so she intensified it, made it bigger, and made that stylish. And when people had little, pretty little eyes with little pencil line eyebrows, Joan had big eyes and she made them bigger and she let her own eyebrows grow. She's probably responsible for natural eyebrows. She had square shoulders, so instead of uh, trying to hide them, she intensified them and made that big shoulder look a style. Joan was a very, uh, she could seize on her defects and make them something that was very individual. By the early 40s, her career had slipped a bit, but she came roaring back with her Oscar-winning performance in Mildred Pierce. It was Vintage Crawford, the humble waitress who becomes a tycoon, only to suffer when she and her daughter, Anne Blythe, fall in love with the same man, bad Zachary Scott. It was the kind of repressed, mature woman that audiences love to weep over, especially since Miss Crawford usually suffered in mink in gowns designed by Adrian. Joan Crawford married four times, first to Douglas Fairbanks Jr. here, then to actors Francho Tone and Philip Terry, and Pepsi-Cola board chairman Alfred Steele, who died in 1959. She had four adopted children. Over the last year, she rarely left her apartment on East 69th Street, where a maid found her body this morning. Movie star Joan Crawford, dead of an apparent heart attack at the age of 73. This is Stuart Clark. This is Stuart Clark. interviews with you as the the businesswoman the tycoon the giant uh, how does this sit with you i'm not the giant or the tycoon i'm merely a member of the board of the directors of pepsi cola can i mention it oh you certainly can i must say if i was going to be with any corporation what a chairman of the board you make <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting and a great deal of fun as a matter of fact working in pictures has taught me so much about other industries and it was so easy for me to learn not that i've learned everything I have to learn. I have much more to learn. But to be able to market, instead of selling Joan Crawford, to market a soft drink. Uh, all of my training in pictures stood me in uh, very good stead, believe me. Where do you call home now? New York. And how much time do you spend in New York or in Hollywood or around the country? Well, I only come here when I have a job to do, either television or presentations or a film. I'm usually traveling, traveling all over the world for Pepsi. I've been as far as Leopoldville in Africa and Beirut. And Do you miss California? No, I love it when I'm here to work, but it's very depressing to come out and, and not have a job because every, everyone has so much activity. You say, where am I? Well, you know, I got lost. Mm -hmm. And you, you want to get back into another activity, and I'm so grateful for the other activity. Do you have much time to relax? You, like at Palm Springs, do you play tennis? Do you play golf? No, I don't have time for that. I had two weeks for the first time in two years. I just came back from Palm Springs.